Hello viewers and welcome to a new episode of Battle Group Skunk Works, a series that talks about the various strengths and weaknesses of battle group formations you can use in Lancer Battle Group. In today's episode, let's talk about the Thorough Battle Group. Thorough, is all about guns, do you like to stay at range 3 and shoot everything that moves and everything that doesn't move as well, do you like to just not think of advanced strategy or just thinking in general and then use all your brain power for a split second when that moment to smash that big red button comes up, Thorough, is basically perfect for those that likes to keep things simple. And that's why this episode received 11 submissions, which is fine for me, because to be honest, having too many submissions like in Lancer Custom Works might make me a little too psychotic again. Anyway let's start this off with battle group raw aggression, I think you already know where this is going, aggressive commander, conical, conical, all the conical, ship died, no problem, you have 6 of them, just conical your way out of a deep dive at range 0. Even the ace squadron is aggressive as hell, with aggressive picket to poke anyone that dares to move the battle group, as well as NHP co-pilot and ship killer to instantly destroy any enemy capital that got too low in health. However, you got basically no defensive system at all, you will want to use your frigate as meat shield if you want the thorough to even have a chance to survive, on the other hand, nothing says please die like quad conical at point blank range. Battle group Macross missile massacre is about sending a message, the message is missile, Primary single stage torpedoes has payload minus one, which means firing at range two will have the missile arriving in next turn, Pinyaka has payload, just payload, but thanks to Laho's trait, it too has minus one to its payload tag, add in all the messenger for extra payload damage, and even enemy battle group with high interdiction will feel the pain. What's more, Pinyaka has area target tag, which means if it hits, there's a chance those escorts will say goodbye, and in the finale stage where the last enemy capital has all the escorts, a Pinyaka can easily score a monster kill. If there's a legacy you should be looking for, get mighty so you can reroll the Pinyaka's damage. Battle group excess is a virtue is also about missile, especially, tandem charge missiles, which means you are firing twice the missiles, the strategy is like any other thorough battle group, fire missiles, kill, fire missiles again, kill, fire more missiles, you know what happens next. Emergency maneuver and encirclement tactics from destroyer will also prevent you from being kicked out by spending a tactic. At this point, you probably noticed a pattern that thorough build doesn't really have any defensive system, well, not having a system slot besides the flagship bonus one is kind of pain, which is why all defensive strategies on the thorough are based around gunboat diplomacy, because murder remains the best solution. Battle group tornado, Bonza buddy edition, is a boarding thorough battle group, by using Atawa with Echo Praxic Amago, which can force the enemy to reroll interdiction roll so the co-consciousness lance can hit even harder, which is also very amusing, because Tawa's trait that give boarding unit higher tenacity can somehow give electronic warfare more tenacity too, there's also wall of shotgun if you just want damage. This focuses on maximizing co-consciousness lance damage is also because it deals area damage and deal more damage the more escort the target has, which means for an end game enemy battle group, one shot can be all it takes to annihilate them. You might want to put a lucky or indomitable legacy on the Tawa though, because the GM might not appreciate its presence, or existence. Battle group Giant Killer is another thorough dive battle group, but with a bit more survivability thanks to brace for impact for damage mitigation and superior for repair. Turn 1, immediately unleash hell with co-conscious lance and primary kinetic batteries, turn 2, start diving and conical everything, there's even insightful commander so moving you just means things get worse for the enemies. Lastly. While Onaportum isn't much, sometimes they can mean the difference between death or just close to death. 29th Rapid Reaction Force Born Under Punches is a variant of Thorough Dive Battle Group that actually tries to survive by having Mass Accelerator Turret, Huron, and Cloud Kill to absolutely wipe out incoming escorts and wings, plus all the fighter wings in the Amazon for just enough interdiction, which means when you are diving, the only thing you need to worry about is getting shot in your face. You might not be unleashing hell at all, but at the very least, the enemy is gonna have a hard time trying to harass your allies. Battle group boxer, proves one good thing about those kinetic batteries, destroyer escort, and harbinger, if you have enough unavoidable damage, even capital would fear you, as this battle group deals 16 damage total upon unleashing hell, if you miss every single shot, obviously, more if you actually hit. And after the barrage, there's always double heavy kinetic batteries plus destroyer for an efficient attack combo. Battle group where we're going, we don't need accuracy, is a battle group that doesn't roll attack roll because it's all pinyaka, the battle group is secretly a giant monarch, add in co-consciousness for more area targeting pain plus use down for quicker reload, and messenger for more damage, 
not many thing is gonna survive all these together, once again, I recommend mighty for these kind of builds that rely on good damage roll. The 9th battle group, has no name for some reasons, is a very simple battle group because of quad heavy kinetic batteries, there's not many situations that can screw this one up, plus, not only does it have smart screen and shield projector, the Farragut can let the superior perform a double duty for all the repairs you want, so it's actually quite survivable for a thorough battle group. 21 gun salute comes with two dorsal Razorback missiles, which is basically primary single stage torpedoes but slower and deals more damage, and also not really because it has the lock on gimmick, but it doesn't matter for this build for the most part because you will be unleashing hell at turn 1 and just forget about them. What this build will probably be firing more frequently is the 3x3 short spool block once it's fully loaded, it's just gonna be a lot of pain on the other end, and if you get shot, no you didn't. Lastly, there's second San Simeon, Planet Watch, also has a 3x3 short spool block, waiting for the unleash hell button to truly unload its fury. Besides that, this battle group can also add more damage in by using its bomber wing while the farragut turin combo keeps the big capitals alive thanks to the increased interdiction and actual screening, not every thorough battle group has to be covered in guns I suppose. And that's all 11 thorough battle groups finished reviewing, thorough, much like the Muri, is quite easy to play because all you need to do is just being a battleship, just shoot and don't die, besides, it can feel very good when something dies as soon as you unleash hell and watch the damage ticks upward, so there's a lot to like about the thorough. Anyway, the flagship for the next episode is Greenland, ah uh, yes, I wonder how much Battlestar Galactica stock footage am I'm going to use for this one, that's all for now, and I will see you all next time. Hello there, if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and click that notification bell button. If you really want to support my channel, you could visit my Patreon page, or buy me some Kofi, links in the description. Anyway, have a nice day.